Hello, people of Stirling and surrounding area. Hope you're all well. Uh, I've put together a wee music quiz for you. Uh, two rounds. First round is uh, based on popular music culture, as we like to call it here uh, and other places. Uh, and the second round is based more on uh, musical instruments, musical theory and stuff. It's all multiple choice. So if you're not entirely sure, you have a 25% chance of being right anyway. That's good. All right, so let's get to it. Answers will be revealed at the end uh, of the entire quiz. So pens and paper at the ready. Uh, and here we go, diving right in. Question number one. What is the biggest selling album of all time? Is it A, Michael Jackson, Thriller? Is it B, Ed Sheeran, Division? Is it C, The Eagles, Their Greatest Hits? Uh, or is it D, ACDC, Back in Black? Done that? Question two. Who sings the new James Bond theme, No Time to Die? Is it A, Rihanna? Is it B, Billie Eilish? Is it C, Sam Smith? Or is it D, Pharrell Williams? Question 3. What is the most streamed song on Spotify with over 2.4 billion streams? That's an insane amount of listens, isn't it? Uh, is it A, A, Ed Sheeran, The Shape of You? Is it B, Post Malone, Rockstar? Is it C, Havana, Camilo Cabello? which probably isn't how it's actually pronounced. Uh, or is it D, Old Town Road by Lil Nas X? Okay, are you ready for question four? How many consecutive weeks did Lewis Capaldi spend at the top of the charts with someone you loved? Now we know he's been there twice with the same song, but I'm looking for uh, the consecutive weeks. So, just once, okay? Was it five weeks? Which is A. Was it B, seven weeks? Was it C, nine weeks? Or was it D, 13 weeks? Question number five. Beyonce, we all know Beyonce. Beyonce used to sing in which girl group? Was it A, Fifth Harmony? Was it B, Girls Aloud? Was it C, Pussycat Dolls? Or was it D, Destiny's Child? Question number six. In 2019, seeing which artist live would have cost you $420 for the best seats in the house? A. Paul McCartney. B. Ariana Grande. C. 
Lady Gaga or D. Elton John, the Rocket Man. Question number seven. Who has the most number one singles of all time? A. Elvis Presley. B. The Beatles. C. Westlife. Or D. Madonna. Question number eight. The great exploding drummer, Keith Moon. Uh, if you don't know who that is, I suggest you look him up on YouTube. He's great. Uh, played for which 60... But don't do it yet because you'll be cheating, okay? Because then it'll give the game away. The great exploding drummer, Keith Moon, played for which 60s and 70s highly influential rock band? Was it A, Led Zeppelin? B, The Small Faces? C. The Rolling Stones or D. The Who? Question number nine. Ricky Wilson, one of the judges on the BBC talent show The Voice, Sings in which rock band? Is it A, Take That, B, The Kaiser Chiefs, C, Kasabian, or D, Green Day? Okay. Question number 10, the last in round one. Here we go. The White Stripes, famous for the song Seven Nation Army, has how many band members? So, Seven Nation Army, down, 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 down. You know the one. You all know the one. You've all probably tried to play it on guitar. Um, how many people are in that band? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 5, or D, 7. And there we go. That is the end of round one. Still not giving you the answers. I'm going to give you the answers at the end of round two. So, here we go. Straight into round two. Okay. So that's the popular culture round over. We're going to go straight into uh, the musical round. <laughs> Question number 11. Which musical key features no sharps or flats? So, on a keyboard, that would mean... Uh, here's one here. That would mean there are no black keys, okay? So they're all the sharp and flat keys, and these are just the natural keys. So, which musical key features no sharps or flats? Is it A? A. Is it B? B. Is it C? C. Or is it D? D. Question number 12, how many strings would you expect to find on a mandolin? Is it A, 4, B, 6, C, 8, or D, 12?
question number 13. How many notes would you find in a pentatonic scale? Is it A, 3, B, 5, C, 7, or D, 9? Question number 14. Which brass instrument uses a slider to play the notes as opposed to keys? Is it A, the tuba, B, the coronet, C, the euphonium, or D, the trombone? Question number 15, nearly there folks, oh, here we go, a marimba is made of which material, is it A, wood, B, aluminium, C, brass, or D, rubber? Question number 16. Songs in a minor key are often said to be what? A. Happy. B. Sad. C. Angry. Or D. Funny. Question number 17. Which of these instruments need a reed in order to be played? Is it A, a flute, B, a trumpet, C, bagpipes, or D, a timpani? Question number 18. Synthesizers are usually a type of what? A keyboard, that's A. B, drums. C, guitars. Or D, microphones. Question 19. If a time signature is in 6 8, how many beats would be in the bar? Is it A, 2, B, 4, C, 6, or D, 8? And question number 20, the last question, here we go. Tempo in music refers to what? A, notes per octave, B, verses per song, C, words per second, or D, beats per minute. Go, 20 questions. Let's see how you fared. Okay. Question number one What is the biggest selling album of all time? The answer is 
the Eagles, their greatest hits. Imagine. Imagine. Michael Jackson must be raging. Okay. Who, num question number two. Who sings the new James Bond theme, No Time to Die? The answer is B. Billie Eilish. Question number three. What is the most streamed song on Spotify with over 2.4 billion streams? The answer is A. Ed Sheeran with The Shape of You. Who the thought, eh? Question number four. How many consecutive weeks did Louis Capaldi spend at the top of the charts with someone you loved? The answer is B. Seven consecutive weeks. Okay. Not a patch on Brian Adams. Uh, question number five. Beyonce used to sing in which girl group? If you had answered D, Destiny's Child, you would be absolutely right. Question number six. In 2019, seeing which artist live would have cost you $420 for the best seats in the house? The answer is C, Lady Gaga. Incredible amounts of greed. Okay, question number seven. Who has the most number one singles of all time? The answer is A, Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. The great explode, question number eight. The, the great exploding drummer Keith Moon played for which 60s and 70s highly influential rock band? That would be D, The Who. Question number nine. Ricky Wilson, one of the judges on the BBC talent show The Voice, Sings in which rock band? That would be B, the Kaiser Chiefs. And question number 10, end of round one. The White Stripes, famous for the song Seven Nation Army, has A, two band members. There we are. To up your scores for round one. And we'll go straight on to round two. Okay, question number 11. Which musical key features no sharps or flats? The answer is C, the key of C. Question number 12, how many strings would you expect to find in a mandolin? The answer is C, eight. Uh, question number 13, how many notes would you find in a pentatonic scale? So the clever ones among you would have noticed that pentatonic gives you the answer straight away. The answer is B, five. It's Paul McCartney, look. Okay, question number 14. Which brass instrument uses a slider to play the notes rather than the keys? The answer is D, the trombone. That was a terrible impression of a trombone. Um, question number 15. The marimba is made of A, wood. Question number 16. Songs in minor keys are often said to be B. Sad. Well, which of question seventeen? Which of these instruments need a reed in order to be played? The question. The answer is C. Bagpipes. Question number eighteen. Synthesizers are usually types of A. Keyboards. Question number nineteen. If a time signature is in six eight, how many beats would be in the bar? And the answer is C. Six, And the last question. Question number 20. Tempo in music refers to D. Beats per minute. So there we are. 20 questions. Hope you played along. Hope you had some fun. Uh, hope you learned something. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. See you soon.